up? It's Trap Girl Shug. It's Trap Girl Jade. The Trap Girls. And we're rocking live at the mixtape show. There you go. <laughs> all right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, it's the mixtape show live here in the ETL, man. And we're doing our little tour like we usually do every few months or so. And this week we got special guests, thanks to Angela and Mix Mafia DJs for hooking this one up. We got the Trap Girls in the building. Ladies, ladies, how, how y'all doing? Good, good, good. How you doing? If you guys don't mind me doing a favor from my left, from my, yeah, my left, you guys let us know names. Hi, my name is Trap Girl Jay, and I'm Trap Girl Sugar. So, so you guys are uh, Arkansas, born and raised? Little Rock. Little Rock, Arkansas. Yeah. Yeah, I was born in Texas. I was raised in Helena, Arkansas. Ah, ah, and you guys are blood cousins. Yep, favorite cousins. <laughs> favorite cousins. From the one. Who's the, who's the oldest cousin out of you guys? I am. So she picks on you a lot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's the bully. She's the bully? I hear you, I hear you. So how, how long have you guys been doing this uh, professionally recording and everything? About a year. Yeah. About a year. What, made, what made you want to get into uh, taking music? We always climbed around with music. Like we take a lot of road trips mm -hmm. and uh, we uh, play a beat and freestyle. You know, just kicking it. You know, it's not home girl. So we, we like traveling and we like you know freestyling music sometimes. Okay. So we decided, you know, like why, let's get paid for it. Yeah. Let's just go the whole way. Yeah. I mean, at the same time, we live in life to the fullest. Yeah. So instead of just listening to those records, let's go ahead and put a record on the radio. Yeah. Right. So people we can dance to. I tell you, the trap girls. What's the what's the the brand is the Trap Girl, so it, would that brand be uh, just kind of party vibe, just, you know, just um, having a good time? How would you explain the Trap Girl's vibe to, to the audience out there? It's a mix of everything, actually. Yeah. You know, you get, a, you get the love, you get the hustle, you get the party, you know? Yeah. Just like, you know, being in, in your hood, you get a little everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Depending on what day. I hear, I hear, I hear. <laughs> so what's your, what's your favorite parts of, you, you both can answer. What's your favorite part of, of the grind so far as far as uh, making the music and just kind of being out here? Because you, like you said, you've been there a little bit over a year and you're already traveling and doing it. So what do you guys enjoy about it so far? Mine is probably traveling. I like traveling. I like meeting um, different people mm -hmm. um, and meeting different artists. Okay. Mine, I would say traveling as well, but also the attention in the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Most definitely, I love it. Yeah, yeah. What, what's, what's some of the what's some of the stuff that probably came your way that you didn't expect so far? Um, I'm not gonna say I, I really, you know, even encountered mm -hmm. some of those issues. Mostly, you know, everything been going real good, but I mean, can't complain. We blessed. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys just released a new mixtape too. Yeah, what's the name of that mixtape? Rich Hoochie. Rich Hoochie. All the Rich Hoochies tap in. How many, how many joints we got on there? We got nine. Nine joints. Nine joints. And, and that lead single is that Nola joint? Yes. Ah, yes. Nah. And that catches everyone's attention. Yeah. It's going to turn you up for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, um, I, I heard that when I first heard it, I was like, oh, they tapping into the old cash money, you know yeah, what I'm saying, yeah. kind of feel to it, kind of, you know, is that, is that some, is that the, you know, that era of cash money, is that who you guys kind of started listening to when you were studying and everything? Um, on that song, yeah, we just... Oh, no. It was more towards Big Frida. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Big Frida gonna train you up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 she gonna get your band. I hear. And as far as you guys, um, you know, just doing this together as, as you know, with family and everything like that, do you, uh, are you getting burned out by being around each other all the time? We've been around each other all our life. All our life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We we gonna laugh, we gonna cry, yeah. we gonna argue, yeah. and we gonna be cool five minutes later. Yeah. 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 Just as long as you keep that, that you know, don't let the business get in between. Yeah. Because we family, we know how to deal with each other. Yeah. yeah. So we yeah. know if, you know, somebody man, I was gonna let you cool out, or yeah. another person man, I'm gonna argue to a little bit until you be like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's when the, it's when the outsiders come in and they try to get in between us when you yeah. guys know. Like, yeah. Ain't no coming in between. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now I know you guys were saying earlier off camera you guys are working on some new music and you don't have to give it out publicly if you know you don't want to. But you guys have been working with some some dope artists yeah, yeah. On, on the scene. Um, Lots you know. Of yeah, yeah, and you guys, um, it, it's, it's just wild, um, the, the caliber of artists, for those in our, you know, down south area who, who check out the show, you guys will work with some local legends, and, and just legends in general who kind of co-sign your sound, like, how does that make you feel, with it being, you, your catalog is built, but you're already getting this kind of co-signs? We love it, 
Mm -hmm. It motivates us mm -hmm. to have, you know, like you said, legends mm -hmm. and, you know, well-known artists that's been in the music industry for years mm -hmm. to come and say, hey, we want you on this record or mm -hmm. we're going to do this with you. You yeah. know, it just, it just lets us know that we're going down the right path with this. Yeah. Like, we got the opportunity and we're going to make it happen. Mm -hmm. We have great guidance. We are guided by our mentor, Mr. Servo. Mm -hmm. And he's an awesome, awesome. Dope dude, yeah, we had him on the show a couple weeks ago. He's, yeah, a lot of information, a lot of knowledge yes. to pass down mm -hmm. to you guys. A lot. <laughs> so um, let's, let's say we, we, we look down the road and, um, you know, maybe five years from now. What, what, do you want, what do you want the history books to say about the track records and what you guys help bring to the game? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I like to hear it. I want them to be like, they started off just like us, mm -hmm. you know, and they worked their way and they fought their way up to the top. Yeah. yeah. And I want them to know that, you know, anything is possible. This new girl era mm -hmm. that's going on mm -hmm. in this music is going to rise. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and you guys are kind of on the front end of that too, as far as that. So how, how does that make you feel? Like it's starting, like a lot of the uh, female artists um, who are out there now, they're starting to step over the male counterparts. It's always, you know, they, they get more love and all that kind of stuff. As, as you guys being female artists in this game, in this industry, how does that make you feel seeing like the, the Cardi B's and the Megan's and all of them getting like their proper due? Like they, they're dope, they're not just pretty faces. They can literally create a good record and all that kind of stuff. I love it. Yeah. The women were, you know, they weren't uncredited. This mm -hmm. credited for a long, 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 long time. Mm -hmm. Long time. Yeah. It should have been how it is now, but, you know, yeah. it wasn't. Yeah. And now it is. They yeah. open the doors for female artists and yeah. women take her out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like I think Cardi, she passed. As far as rap records, she has records on that. I know Megan has a few records, like all time records of, of record yeah. sales and all that kind Nikki. of stuff. Nikki, you know. And even back to my era with the little Kims when she first came out and all that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and shout out to them because they had to work super hard for super hard, yeah. us female rappers now. Kick down the doors and everything. Yes. Um, so what, what kind of collab, what would, be, what would be a dream collab if you guys can bring an artist in a piece that you say we got to do a record with this female artist or artist in general, who would you want to do a record on one song? Like who would your choice be? Who would your choice be? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go with, I got to pick one. Uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe. Just one. Just one. Just one. <laughs> we gonna go with I'm gonna go with me right now. Okay. She'll take the job. Yeah. Yeah. Go with me. Megan's dope, man. I think she, she, she I don't think she gets her credit as far as I don't think people really listen to her music. Like I I take that back. People listen to her music. But a lot of I don't think a lot of us guys we don't listen to the lyrics and her delivery. Like she got a dope delivery. Yeah. And it gets overlooked just because, you know, she's she's a pretty girl and they just wanna see the visual part. But if you sit down and listen to what she be saying she literally studied like pimp seeds and all that kind of stuff and oh, her yeah. deliveries, you know you what I'm saying? Hear. Yeah, you can hear that. You can still hear that influence and all that. Man. So, um, social media, how can we follow How can we follow the Trap Girls? That's what we can hold you. So on Instagram, we're uh, Trap Girls 501. Okay. And on Facebook, we're just Trap Girls. Just Trap Girls. What is it? What is it? Yeah. Uh, and um, I know we just dropped a mixtape and you're pushing that. Are you guys going to be start working on like a, maybe a full length like album soon or are you just gonna worry about this mixtape and just kind of we're gonna push the mixtape of mm -hmm. course and all our current songs but we're definitely working on the album and, and uh what does a trap girls live show look like when you come see it like an uncle luke concert <laughs> 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 like an uncle luke tough concert we're all the trap about. girls all the trap boys gonna be in there and everybody yeah. gonna be in there. Yeah. we're gonna play songs for everybody yeah. trap yeah. Dope, dope, just dope energy in general. And everything. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. All good vibes. I hear you, I hear you, ladies. Well, we definitely appreciate you guys rocking with us on the Mixtape Show. Yeah. Um, thanks again to Angie Coverton at Mix Mafia DJs for, for hooking us up. Um, anybody want to shout out before we get out of here? I want to shout out Overlooking Entertainment and our manager, Maria Lee. Our mentor, Mr. Servo. Our PR, Angela, like you said. Our assistant, uh, Solo. And just our whole team. That's just, you guys have done a lot of amazing things in the, in the middle of the year. So keep, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, we got your back here on the show. We're going to be we bumping the music and everything like that. And uh, whenever you get that new record, just reach out to us and we can do this again sometime. We will. So we have uh, a lot of our music right now on YouTube. So you can.
website. Yeah, we are working. What about the merch? I see the track real. Yeah, so we sell merchandise. <laughs> you can uh, purchase it on our Instagram page, Instagram page Real Talk Real Life. Yeah. Um, Hats and shirts and leggings and shorts and hoodies and purses, awesome. There you go. Love the block. Also, be on the lookout for our movie coming up, Married to Money. We start filming okay. in a few months. Maybe right. out soon. So, you guys are actors. Stay tuned. It's a trap. Actors. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Well, we definitely appreciate you. Um, like I said, we, um, we we back to indie artists here in the show. Um, like I said, Servon, we had him on the show a couple weeks ago. And um, like I said, that's a dope guy to have, to have as a mentor. Um, I just see behind the scenes your team working for you and everything like that. And, uh, I know you guys got it, man. Y'all the next one stepping up. So I can't wait to see what y'all got going on. Thank you, All right, all right. Thank well, you for having us on the show. No problem. Anybody anybody else from the show? Or you good? Or? All right, well, how about we do this? How about we throw it to that single? What's the name of that, that single again? We'll, we'll play it right after this. Trevor Guys. For, for my for my peoples in the, in the southwest, man, y'all already know what this is all about. Uh, dope video too. Check out the video on YouTube, and uh, you know we're gonna keep rocking with them, man. It's the Trap Girls in the Building mixtape show. We'll be right back.